Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back again. I've been putting in work, girl, you know. Here I am with another video. So today I'm so excited to be doing this video for you guys because I'm going to be reviewing and trying for the first time the new Rihanna Fenty Concealer and Powder. So let's just go ahead and jump right in. So today I'm going to be reviewing for you guys the new Fenty um, Beauty Concealer and the new Fenty Beauty Powder by Rihanna. I'm so excited to be trying this out because the only, well I have two things from her collection. I have the um, lip gloss, the first one that came out, and I have the, um, well not anymore. It was her foundation, the one that I had tried before, but that one's all gone. I, I wanted to buy a new one, but I'm going to wait since I have other foundations that I bought, so I want to use those up before I try any other foundations. So this is the packaging that the concealer comes in. It's just a regular packaging that she has. It's so cute. The shade that I picked up is 235. Um, she did her concealers the way for like the um, foundation that you would use normally. But last year, or was it this year? No, I bought it this year in February and that was the color 255. But I believe that I was darker then. So I picked up the shade 235. So I did want to get like, to give me a little highlight under my, under my eyes. So, there's a concealer. And also, this is her powder. The box. It's so cute. And I picked up the shade Banana. Um, only because, I, you know, like I said, I do want to have that highlight under my eyes. So, this is in packaging. Look how cute it is. Very cute. I like it. There's a lot of product in there. It is 28 grams. And then it also came with this. So this is like the little filter or whatever that the powder comes out of. I don't even know if you need to put it on. You see, it already has the little holes there. So. Or maybe it's just a cover. I don't know. So let's go into details about the concealer, what it claims to be. So, or what it claims to do. So it says it's a creamy long wear crease proof liquid concealer with light as air, medium to full coverage that brightens under eyes and conceals blemishes and redness. Ooh, I like that because I also like to use concealer around like little faces of my area that I have pimples or, you know, little dark spots. And so, okay. And she does have a lot of shades from light all the way to dark. I believe she has, I want to say 50. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but she does have a lot of shades. Now I want to go into details about the um, powder. So it says it's a super fine weightless loose setting powder and eight sheer shades to perfect and extend makeup wear for a filter photo ready finish on lock. So it's not supposed to be any flashbacks with this. So I already did all my makeup. Um, I don't have anything under my eyes. So we're going to be putting on the concealer and see how it works. So it does have the spoolie. Just a little applicator here. And pretty good product came out. So it gave me a pretty good amount on both of my eyes just with the one swipe, you know, with the one applicator. So I'm going to go ahead and just blend it out with my e.l.f. Um, beauty sponge. I didn't really have to even blend it out that much, you guys. Like, like it just blends like butter. Wow. All right, you see that? No effort in blending at all. Like, it's really, like, it looks really good. And I don't see any creases. It doesn't look like it's 
drying out like super fast so far I'm like really impressed like wow girl and I feel like this is enough coverage for me I feel like I don't need any more but it looks pretty good I'm impressed Rihanna now I am gonna set it with the powder and I'm gonna use my Sigma um, this one is a taper highlighter I love these brushes I use these for my highlight and to powder under my eyes so let's see mmm and it smells good too like it almost smells like a, a vanilla scent or something okay do you guys see that this shit is fucking good, you guys. Like, sorry for my language, but I am like really impressed. Wow. You guys see that? It like looks really, like it looks really good. And right under the eye, like it covered. Wow. This stuff is like really good, you guys. I'm like so excited. I went ahead and touched up. I just put a little bit more of um, my blush and highlighter over it because it covered it up. But you guys, like, I am really impressed. Like, can you guys tell just with that little swipe that it gave me just enough coverage? Like, I really don't have dark circles, but sometimes in the morning when I go to work, like, I have, like, really heavy bags, so I put a lot of concealer. But, like, I am amazed. Like, this is, ha <laughs> And her powder too. I thought it was going to be like too light. Because my sister was watching it. And she's like no that's going to be too light for you. But what do you guys think? I think like it looks freaking bomb. Like I am impressed. So I'm just going to go and do my errands as normal. And then I'm not going to come back on camera to show you guys. But I will update you guys in the description bar below. To see if it creased. You know if it started rubbing off. Or crusting off or whatever. You know, but right now, so far, I am, like, very impressed. And I am in love with it. Like, love at first sight. So, let me know your thoughts. If you guys went and bought it already. Or if you guys don't like it. Or what are your pros and cons on it. For me, I like it. It was a very good first impression for me. It didn't, like, crease right away. It didn't dry up. The um, powder doesn't look too, like, too bright, like, boom in your face. And it's, like, very... Like how it says, a very sheer, lightweight powder. So, so far I'm loving it. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.